Hello everybody and how's it going? In this tutorial we are going to be fixing Modern Warfare 3 shaders preloading stuck at 0%. So let's just dive right into that. So now if you are facing this type of error, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is a very graphic impressive game demanding uh, and it has just a lot of requirements to just simply uh, run. So one of the methods it uses to cut down on in-game loading times is to preload shaders before the game itself starts. This is very common with modern video games. However, this can also cause its own share of potential issues. One such problem is that you can get the Modern Warfare 3 shaders stuck at 0% bug. Now you know how um, annoying and irritating this could be if you are getting this bug, but you're no doubt wondering if there is anything that you can do to fix it. Here are all the methods that you can try out in order to resolve it. So the first thing that you should always try when getting this bug is such restarting your game. So it may take several restarts for the problem to go away. If that hasn't helped, run the game and go into the settings. From there, go to the display tab and scroll down until you have found the restart shaders optimization option and turn it on. This will restart the process and hopefully the shaders will fully load at this time. So you can also see the screenshot as well. So if the problem still occurs, you should try to verify game files on Steam. Once it has been released there or to reinstall the game altogether if play on different platform. You should also double check and make sure that you meet a minimum PC requirement to play the game. You can see we have the operating system of Windows 10 64 bit with the latest update. The central processing unit or the CPU should be at least i5 6th generation or a Ryzen 5 1400 and the memory should be 8 gigabytes of RAM and the GPU or the graphic cards should be a GTX 960 by Nvidia or 1650 and for the AMD we should be having an RX 470 at least and the VRAM or the video memory should be 2 GBs and the DirectX version of 12 so you can see uh, and as well make sure that you have a stable and broadband internet connection and storage of 149 GBs so if you are having these requirements you should have resolved the issue already and it should no longer be there so i really hope you found this video helpful and comment down below if you got your issue fixed and thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel and share with the friends make sure to uh, leave some comments what you want to see upcoming next on the channel and until next time take care goodbye